I do a loop de loop. I do a loop de loop. I want to see how a 3D plane where I've got the controls on the pitch roll and yaw with the gyros, how that stabilizes. You know, how, how well does this, does this hover without gyros and how well does it hover with full gyro control? This is what I'm thinking. If we have the gyros set real nice for a hover, right, <laughs> and then you start flying it fast, is that going to be the same or is where the gyro is moving a lot, now when you get going fast, are you going to get the gyro shakes? Right. So are we going to need to have an issue where the gyros need to be at one setting when it's hovering and a second set? That's and is it going to continue to want to right the plane? Yeah. Rather than have the plane stand this way, is it going to want to keep pushing it yeah. back over. So for us, it's a lot easier to test the principles on something simple like this before we get all involved in a massive vertical takeoff and then end up learning all this all over again, right? The gyro is like an autopilot. See, no, no hands. It's doing yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. It can sense that the plane is moving. So watch when the plane goes up, the elevator goes down to try and bring it back. Okay. So, and then the yaw, see the, the rudder working uh, all by itself? Yeah and the ailerons working all by themselves. It's an autopilot. So let's see how well it hovers with basically our autopilot system. There you go, right there. See it? See it kind of yeah. shake a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, it Because it's, it's sensing it and it's fighting it. Now let's see. It's doing a pretty nice yeah, job it is. holding on. It is, it really is. So it looks like I need a little bit more on the roll. And it looks like I just need to turn the roll up because it keeps spinning around. Yeah. It's, it seemed pretty good on the pitch and pretty good on the yaw, but it kept rolling around. So let's give the roll a little bit more movement. Well, that's a lot more steady. Yeah. You can really feel it's a lot easier on the thumbs. Okay, so it hovers good, Keith. Now let's see how it flies. Oh! Whoa, I didn't get oh, that. Funny. Do it again. That's funny. Oh! Okay, so, so the answer to that is that looks like a, a, a dolphin or fish. Right. Look at it paddling. Yeah, look at it. It looks like a fish going through water. <laughs> and the faster I go, the more out of control it gets. Can you just blow that plane apart if you go fast enough? Let's try it. That's now, great. Is that because it's EPP and like... No, no, no it's not. It's the gyro, the gyro is gyro over <laughs> reacting. Look at that. Oh, now, man. I still have control of it, especially when I slow down. It is what I suspected. The gyros are oh, that's <laughs> set for that slower speed. Yeah, it doesn't do it as long as you stay slow. Yeah, so I bring it back down, and now it's right where it wants to be. And now it'll go straight into hover. Yeah. <laughs> so that tells me for the vertical takeoff, yes. we're going to have an issue. Yes. It'll hover nice, but once we get the plane flying, it's going to... Is there a way to, to turn it up and down so that it's on all the time? That's the one that I thought I had Wait, read what about. Did you say? What, was what, that? what Keith was talking turn, about earlier. There's an odd... There's a, there, I thought I'd read that there's, a, there's one that you can do it while it's in the air. Turn it up and down while it's in the air. So turn it down to quiet yeah, and right, up to where you right. like it. Then well, if so you it's mark on all your the position... Time. Let's look into that. Look at the tail. Well, the that's wiggle. true. Let's turn the gyros all the way up for just hover. So they have maximum, maximum control. Isn't that what you did the first I've time? I've been you had doing them out? about, I did about maybe 60%. Okay. Oh. Now I'm cranking that dial all oh, the way yeah. around. This will be fun. This oh, is no. Maximum. <laughs> look at it. You don't know, look at it. You're just holding it. Uh, everything's, every look at the aileron, everything's moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at that. Look at Whoa. that. Whoa. Look at that, Keith. Look oh, that. that look at, look at that, that thing. Look at how steady it is. <laughs> now, if I go five miles an hour, it's yes. shake. Yeah. You know, that is pretty cool. <laughs> look at, look at it. Just no, nothing. No controls. Bye. Bye. Can you uh -oh. come back this way? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, this is great. Here goes. Uh, I'm trying. Just don't put it on their hat. I'm oh, trying. No. <laughs> Look at it. Wave over here, little guy. Just get out of the oh, way of all the cars. Over here. Oh, okay. yeah, he's back. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I'm going to school. I packed my own lunch today. Bye. That overcompensation works so good in a hover yes. because it's just mm -hmm. instantaneous and aggressive.
All right, so in conclusion, uh, gyros aside, this is a great EPP for crashing and stuff. Very strong, very durable. We got an experimental uh, breakaway motor mount that we'll show you more about that later. And as far as gyro testing, we got a lot of information out of this. We saw the wonderful thing is that having the gyros cranked way up in a hover is great, but then that becomes a problem once it gets moving. So we got to figure out how to deal with that, which we'll find something. So even though we're flying a Sukhoi right now, this is actually vertical takeoff testing. We figured out that by breaking this down into different systems, testing it one thing at a time is a lot easier than having one big plane crash right in the ground all at once, you know? That's yeah. how the X-36 works so good. We broke it up into smaller systems that we tested separately. So I need to finish the Su-35 in the next few weeks first because the information I learned from that is going to be very helpful for the vertical takeoff coming up. We need to test it. Oh, what? The breakaway. The breakaway? Yeah. Come down on its nose? We'll do it on the grass. I mean, don't come down on this with it. How about the tree? You ought to turn your gyros down. Oh, good idea. So this will be a bonus video on the website. What we're about to do is test out the new breakaway motor mount system, which saves your plane, and then you can just put it right back on is the idea, so there's no gluing involved when it breaks. So we're hoping for a good break. Um, so crash it good. So go about halfway. Good. Yeah, right there a little more. Right there. Now don't go any higher. Just go from there and then cut it. Ready? <laughs> there you go. A little to the, a little to the this side. Good, he got it. Good, good. Perfect. Okay, cut the throttle. Nice. It just and won't no, die. No it just, that thing just it's won't die. It's a good plane. Yeah. So I'm gonna head for that tree right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's try that again. What do you say? Let's hop to it. Uh, okay, a clamshell came off. I don't know where that's been hiding. <laughs> that was a gnarly hit and nothing's fine. I mean, wait, everything's fine. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's... Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that was a wing hit. <laughs> oh, now that was solid. That <laughs> has to have done something. That had to have done something. That was pretty solid. <laughs> Oh, look what it did. Okay, Nothing. so a prop saver. Oh my gosh. What? What's broken? Nothing. Not even the foam? The, no, the foam's fine. Details of this new shock absorbing motor mount are on our website right now, rcpowers.com. There's a direct link in the sidebar there. Next week's video, we will be discussing our plans for 2009 as we have a lot in the works. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a new video up every Saturday morning. You know, it seems to fly better after a couple of hits. Look at it. Turn it right in. Jump on. Oh, now that was solid. That has to have done something. That was a gnarly hit, and nothing's fine. I mean, wait, everything's fine. <laughs>